address of a memory location of Intel 8085 microprocessor is. Microprocessor in the question. 8085 UP. 8085 microprocessor. Microprocessor. Microprocessor microcontroller under 8085 in the microprocessor. For microprocessor in the address bit at three on and on Options 8 bit, 32 bit, 16 bit, 64 bit. Hey, the answer hmm? address bit and 16 bit. Okay, 8085 16 bit address on you see. And either either mu p thalum, our data bit, address bit. P case, uh, 8085 in the bar in the 8 bit microprocessor. That is the data was 8 bit. Then address bit in the bar in the 16 bit. That is the address location. Uh, memory location point in 16 bit address on use. Okay. The next question. A voltage of V is applied across an RLC series circuit. A voltmeter is connected across L and C. What will be the reading of voltmeter at resonance? Resonance in the condition. The RLC series circuit is the series resonance. Series resonance. Okay. The resonance in the condition. Uh, XL is equal to XC. Here we the point. E frequency on a resonance condition in the area. XL normal inductive reactance, XC normal capacitive reactance. Now, we RLC series circuit on a barnier. That is R under L under C under R L C current I flow G. Okay, but the show the end. A voltmeter voltage V is applied. A voltmeter is connected across L and C. L in C kim across a voltmeter connect either. This voltmeter is reading at resonance condition in the lana chodi. Okay, but we have a series resonance la ling either resonance la ilum XL is equal to X C I rikim. Current I angle. Resonance condition la E. Inductor across the voltage is equal to I into XL. This is VL, this is VC. VL into VC. Current I equal to XL into VC. This is XC into XC. XL equal to XC and resonance condition la adu VL is equal to VC. Ini. If you connect the voltmeter across the voltmeter, what is the value of read? This is the value of the inductor across the VL and the capacitor across the VC. This is the value of the value of the add, this is the value of the value of the voltmeter. What do we do? Let's look at the resonance condition of the phase diagram. The series circuit is the current reference. Now, in a pure inductance, Voltage and current in the relation in the current lags behind voltage in inductor, pure inductor. Padunda current lag is in a mingle inductor and voltage is very low to earn. Le, le, po, VL in a very okay. Then capacitor in the case law in pure capacitor current leads voltage by 90 degree. Pure capacitor, pure inductor in the concept is 90 degree in the parayin the ta. So, inductor 90 degree le lag e the uh, voltage e lead e the virtue. Capacitor na 90 degree le current lag, uh, lead e enam, the voltage e lag e enam. Pure read e le virtue. Okay. But total voltage across L and C no kum bol. Endu the virtue. V is equal to VC ana and magnitude by C random equal ana. Pen the virtue. VL minus VC ana resultant to virtue. Allengil VL minus VC equal to 0 irikim. This is across where the voltage. Allengil parayam voltmeter reads. Voltmeter reads 
zero. If we connect it across L and C. Okay, all right. Now, the answer is zero. Zero V two V. Okay, zero. Old meter reads zero. Clear, all right, guys. Resonance condition, the series resonance condition, the x is equal to x c, and the L and C are across the voltage. It is equal to random equal in magnitude and opposition in phase one. So resultant voltage across L C circuit at resonance is zero. Okay. The next question. The mechanical power developed by a shunt motor will be maximum when the ratio of back EMF to applied voltage is. One DC shunt motor. DC shunt motor in the case, maximum mechanical power output is equal to what I am going to do. And the condition is going to be back EMF E beam applied voltage V in the middle of the relation is going to be going to be. Okay, how do you do it? This is the result of the result. Mechanical power developed maximum again all the condition E B by V is equal to 0.5 All the condition wise thing in a variable result I to variable E B is equal to V by 2 Okay E B is equal to V by 2 In the law condition learner power developed the maximum again other so, here we have to apply the ratio of back EMF to apply the voltage. That is EB by V. Now, it is equal to 1 by 2 and 0.5. Now, the answer is 0.5. Now, the torque and power of back EMF is the relation of back EMF. We call P is equal to T omega. No. P is equal to power T torque omega. Angular frequency. Okay, this is the torque is equal to P by omega. That is P, power is equal to EB by, sorry, EB into I. Power is equal to V into I. EB I is equal to then omega is equal to 2 pi n. Again, EB is equal to phi e z n P by A by 60. That is the equation. अदर डे सब्सट्रेटी दूर का अदर सब्सट्रेटी दूर ते कुछ टर्म्स से कैंसल आई पों एन ना का कैंसल आई पों कैंसल आई पों भी ना बाकी रिजल्ट टाइम डेल्ला गंडोर चीज में तो कोई क्वेश्चन के टम पॉइंट वन फाइव नाइन फाइव इसेट पी बाय ए इन अल्ला एक इक्वेशन के फॉर्मूले के किटम लाइक फाइव इसे� in this analysis part, you can derive the condition of EB is equal to V by 2. Okay, this is the result of the result. If you derive the result of the result, you can derive the result of the result. Okay, the answer is 0.5. Okay, let's see the next question. Next question. Okay, then next question. The EMF induced in the armature of a shunt generator is 240V. The armature resistance is 0.8 ohms. If the armature current is 10 ampere, the terminal voltage will be. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a shunt generator. No. Shunt generator. We're going to do a shunt diet field. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a shunt diet field. Output voltage V. The shunt field, then generated voltage is EG in the representative. What is the answer? The EMF induced in the armature of a shunt generator is 240 volt. What is the answer? EG equal to 240 volt. Total generator is in the armature of a shunt generator is in EMF 240 volt. Then armature resistance. 0.8 ohm. This is the resistance. R A. R A is equal to 0.8 ohm. If armature current is 10 ampere. This is the armature current. Armature is the current. 10 ampere. Representing the 
I A in the I A is equal to 10 ampere on angle. Terminal voltage will be the output voltage. Terminal voltage is not this V. But V in the end of the simple item generator equation substitute is the end of the generator equation EG equal to total generator in the E point. Learn. Okay. Total generator in the voltage EG equal to in the take a sum might to verum. If it is resistance drop, then output to get to the voltage in the sum might to V plus IA RA in the other. Now, what is the V? V is equal to EG minus IA RA in the rewrite here. You will substitute the EG value 240. Then the 240 minus IA value 10. 10 into R at a value 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Is that right? Right? 240 minus 8. I'll link it to 32 volt in the gutter. Okay, like. For the answer. Option C is the correct answer. Simple on it. Well, DC shun generator motor. Series generator motor. All of them are in the car. Then, last question. In this section, an 8-pole DC generator has 500 armature conductors and has useful flux per pole 0 0.065 Weber. What will be the EMF generated if it is lab connected and runs at 1000 RPM? Again, simple question. What is the generator EMF? What is DC generator? We have equations. Derive the budget to DG is equal to phi is at n p by a 60. So, this equation is not equation. This equation is direct substitution. This is 500 armature conductors. That is is equal to 500. Then, 8 pole DC generator is equal to p is equal to 8. And has useful flux per pole. Phi is equal to 0 0.065 Weber. What will be the EMF generated if lab connected? Lab connected I do under A is equal to P R. Okay. Then runs at 1000 RPM. That is N is equal to 1000 RPM. P values are substitute is amadi. In the number. 5. 5 value 0 0.065. So, the case of 5 is Weber Lano, Milli Weber Lano, Tanirkin and the note here. Milli Weber on angle, other Weber like a convert here to an substitute here. P case is Weber Laniana, upon 0 0.065 and the Nirthadi. Then 5 is said, is said normal 500. N, N, RPM 1000. Thousand. Then five is run. P by A. In case P by A venda. Because that P time A value same man. P equal to eight. That is that is equal to eight. But eight by eight is another cut type. That is not enough. Whole divided by sixty. Sixty. Okay. Better way. You know the calculations. So remember just an options like no ka accurate answer. The option is under. But okay, 541, 2166, 135, 270. Accurate answer is not the different ranges are not the same. Now, we solve this. 1000 is multiplied by 65 into uh, 0 cut type into 50 divided by 6. Okay, now, Approximate to 11 is 30. 11 into 50, approximately 550. In the answer, 550 volt in the answer. Option select in the range is 541. Answer is the same. But 65, 66 is the same. 6 which is the same. 11 is the same. 11 is the same. value is the same. 11 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 is the same. 
ഫൈവ് ഫിഫ്റ്റിയിൽ താഴെയുള്ള ആൻസർ ഫൈവ് ഫോർട്ടി വൺ വേറെ ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്തതുകൊണ്ട് കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ഫൈവ് ഫോർട്ടി വൺ തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ആണല്ലോ 